didn't allow us to go out today, so what's the next best thing to do if you can't go crappie fishing? Fish fry. Fish fry it is today, uh, yeah. crappie nation. So what we're going to do today, we're going to show you guys how crappie cats cook fish out here in Ellis County. So y'all will get down in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to run y'all through the ingredients that we use for our fish fry, and we're going to start off with the strainer of course when you put the fish in the batter you gotta you know get it all out and then next of course you got the grease with another strainer inside of it uh i think it said at 269 i'm gonna tell y'all exactly what to set it at uh next world famous louisiana seasoned crispy fish fry got the catfish on the front of it one of a kind and then next of course plain and simple canola oil so Use that as well. We got our fillets here. You know what I'm saying? Season them up real good. Get them going. And also, last ingredient is our mustard with a little bit more ingredients in it. Keep that a secret. So, we're going to cook it two ways. We'll cook it with this, with the mustard inside of it, and then just regular with the fish fry. And that's it. And All right, Crappie Nation, this is what we do first. We got our uh, crappie fillets sitting here in, in the natural water which is uh, get a little moisture. And what you want to do is, what we do is, dump some of the water off, put it off into the, the batter, kind of shake it around a little bit, make sure it's evenly coated. And we also have our uh, deep fryer set to 375 degrees. So we're gonna cook this one regular, pull it out, nice and evenly coated. Take our strainer out. Get the fillet in and drop it in there. So we're gonna let this cook for about two to three minutes. You don't want to overcook the crappie because it really doesn't take that long to get it uh, nice and crispy. Two minutes is up. All right, and as you see, we have a fresh, crispy fillet. All right, fillet. what we do? We we'll take it out, put it in our strainer. Get some of the extra uh, grease off of it. Shake it around a little bit. And then we'll put it in our pan. It's also layered with uh, some napkins to help get some of the, the grease off of it. So uh, now we're gonna go to part two and show you guys how we cook fillets using our secret mustard sauce. All right, so crappie cats, we like to add a little spice to our fish. So we're gonna add a little cayenne pepper to it. I ain't gonna put too much on it, just sprinkle a little bit. Evenly, even coat top of it. And that's about it. Just leave it right there. And next, <clears throat> since we already did the regular fish, you're going to dip it in a little mustard. So, take the fish, sprinkle a little water off of it. It's still a little wet. You drop it into the mustard on each side. I need a fork. It'd probably be better. Let it hit each side one time. Get in there real good. Excess mustard off. And drop it into the fish fry. I don't know, I do it like my dad, so. Let me just flip it like this. There we go. Get a little routine going. <laughs> All right, cool. So now that we have that, sprinkle a little bit off of it. Now it's going in the fry for two minutes. Let it go. Right, so two minutes is up. Like a nice brown crisp on it. Let some of that grease come off of it for a little bit. 
man. Put it in the strainer once again. Some more grease come off of it. I think this is probably the best fish right here. The mustard make it a little crunchy, so you can compare the two. You kind of see this one look some more crispy than that one, so. That's the mustard version. Copycats. I'm well, gonna we'll do a little quick recap of how we do it out here. Uh, first of all, get your nice, good deep fryer. Set your temperature at about 375. Uh, get your fillets. They just let them just sit in their natural water after you throw them out, and that'll give them the, uh, the moisture that they need to put into your your uh, Louisiana seasoned fruit fish fry. It's really all you need, just to be honest. But if you want to add your extra season, it's on you. Right. Also. Uh, we like to add a little spice to ours too, so we also put uh, some, some uh, cayenne pepper on ours also. And uh, a good friend of mine by the name of Charles Jordan turned us on to this right here. Oh, it's it's cool. a It's a mustard secret sauce that we add. We're not going to tell you all our ingredients that we put in it other than the mustard. Dip that in the, in the crappie. Dip the crappie into the mustard and then uh, put the batter on it. Cook it. Two minutes max. Two minutes max is all you need. Go ahead, uh, take us on out of here, uh, Kingfish. All right, it's been real. Give me another piece. Let's see. And make sure you all go like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications at the bottom. And we'll see y'all next time, man. Have a good one. Come along,